world's single origin specialty coffee. Look no further than Sakami Coffee. Our farm is located on the slopes of Mount Elegon, Transoya County, north of Rift of Kenya. We are in um, Transoya uh, County, north of the Rift. And this uh, particular place I'm standing is Sakami Ranches Limited. Um, it's a coffee farm. Uh, it's a family owned farm. And um, growing up in this region, it's a maize growing zone. And as you can see in my background, we have a little spot of coffee in a thousand acre land of maize. Growing up in this region, I've, we've always known maize and that's what grows around here most. And Sakami, with my, uh, we started our farm and it's a coffee farm. We, it's been a long journey to be where we are, but um, it is working. Uh, because while what we are doing in this region is changing lives. Uh, as you know, maize is a seasonal crop, but coffee, when you grow coffee, it is a, a year-round kind of um, uh, crop because it needs a lot of care and needs a lot of uh, nurturing, it needs a lot of weeding, it needs a lot of um, uh, pruning and uh, handling and picking. So in a sense, it is creating uh, jobs throughout the year for the locals. And we are very happy to partner with our locals here because we are getting all the support. And uh, mainly we employ uh, women and uh, youth um, because we have a lot of uh, um, unfortunate families around because they are ex, uh, they probably they grew up in a squatter kind of uh, family. You know, this used to be really huge uh, 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 maize growing zone, which is uh, known as a um, seed growing uh, area. And that means we had a lot of workers who were working for particular farms. And now since uh, we put up the coffee farm, we are creating that it's changing lives, it's creating impact, we have jobs and we have uh, people are uh, leading a comfortable life now. At altitude of 1,800 meters above sea level, volcanic soils and good rainfall patterns, we just have the right ingredients of growing great coffee. Well, right now we are just at the slope of Mount Elgon. As you can see, we are now, it's a bit rocky, hilly. The altitude here is uh, 1,800 meters above the sea level. The rain patterns here are quite amazing. The Transoya soils or this particular region soil, as I said, is a volcanic soil. So it's very rich. Anything you plant grows. I remember when we started doing our uh, coffee, we intercropped with macadamias. So we were told there are some macadamia, uh, there are many varieties. We were told there are some varieties that will not grow in this region. But to the surprise of everybody, they are shocked how well they've done. That's how good our soils are. Uh, they're very fertile and um, they're very good for coffee. We dedicate all our resources to growing the best coffee possible. Our farm, when we bought it, the model farm, we wanted to make it um, more like an organic farm. But you know, to get a certification of organic, it's, uh, it's not an easy thing. It's been a long journey. We, we, we irrigate our farms using solar. So we are all going green and uh, we use irrigation to bring the water up and then we irrigate the land with gravity. So that means we have no cost on our, irrig our irrigation uh, system. Our plants are fertilized mainly by culture manure. Foliar spray is done on the farm through warm tea which we produce ourselves. In our soils, we're doing manure culture which we, uh, um, we feed the pulp of the coffee pulp and macadamia pulp back to the manure, to the worms. And the worms, they produce uh, what we call uh, warm tea. And that's what we use to use as a foliar fertilizer. And also the soils we take, once they have eaten the food or recycled the soil, we put it back in the farm. So we feed it the coffee pulp and we put it back in the farm. We feed it the macadamia pulp and we put it back in the farm. So that's what we use for top dressing. Only fully ripe and hand-picked cherries are accepted for pulping. It is a good coffee. What we grow here is really good coffee. Given that uh, everything we're doing is uh, organic, 
Though we have not gotten out certification, we need to remember that. We are working on it. It's a slow journey, but uh, we hope to get that there one day. We have uh, intercropped our macadamia, our coffee with macadamias. So it's a shaded coffee. Already that one is um, something and we are doing, um, um, we use eco pulpers, so we minimize a lot of wastage. And uh, in our wetlands, we have created wetlands to clean the water so that we put it back in the river and uh, so that we just protect the environment. And we also have a wetland which sits on about um, uh, 50 acre land and that one has helped us to really, really uh, maintain our water system and our water levels to stay clean because uh, we have a lot of underground water, fresh water, fresh water springs, so and uh, we would like to maintain it as such. Our coffee has been capping between 85 to 89 points. Well, welcome to Sakami. <laughs> Talk to us and we can deliver good coffee right on your doorstep.